Welcome back everyone to the Violet Hour. I'm Belisium, and today we are continuing with Hand of Fate 2. In the last episode we played the Hermit and we got, I think, quite far. Uh, it was really fun to do and um, I know I had said that I wanted to do the wheel next. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the wheel. And for this one, I'm going to use the Wanderer again. We're gonna do the Goblin Kit Retainer. We're gonna throw Burning Building. Um, Clan Eyebright, Gnomish Exchange, Trading House. I thought we won the duel, but I guess we didn't. Um, let's see, what else do we want? Goblin Town. Elder's Gift. Oh, one platinum card, okay. Let's do dark alleyways. Let's make my life more complicated and difficult. Um, friendly innkeeper. One drunken night. That was a lot of fun for me. Rihanna's remarkable something or other. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, encrusted mace. We're not going to fight northerners. We are going to fight a lot of armor breaker. Uh, Reefa's ire we'll put in. We're gonna I throw... guess that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. The appeal, sir, good sir, is that uh, it helps. Oh, eat less. Eat less, you say. Oh. You. Lord's Didium. Gambler's Jewel, Ring of Food. Two more. Let's just throw that in for fun. Funsies, you say? Funsies. Um. We're gonna do the crossbow. Oh, uh, uh, just, just kidding. We're gonna do the crossbow. All right. Because I really wanted to last time, but then I thought, oh, I've used too many um, new cards that I don't want to confuse myself. So this time I'm going to be totally confused. Fate turns through all of our lives. We can choose when to spin the wheel, yet not where it lands. Mmm. I like that. Anger. Pain. These are the powers that propel us when faith, love, and truth have failed us. Imprisoned fate. You wake one night to a shimmering orb hovering over you, bathing your surroundings in a silver light. Three figures appear in a glow. The tallest one speaks, despite her hushed tone. Her voice fills the room. Rise, hero, rise, and free us from our eternal prison. Agree and try to rescue them. Ask who they are. Mortals have many names for us. Genies, visions, 
for deities, but we are none of these. We are the watchers of the weave. The fates of all things are ours to know. Ask more questions. What would you ask? Ask why they want your help. Haro speaks, his voice booming from behind his long beard. To free us, you must travel beyond the mortal realm. We can guide you, but you alone must master the whims of fate. Ask who trapped them. Allah laments. We are not the only ones who see the strings tied to every mortal. Long ago, a mage saw himself as puppet master and not a marionette. He would not stand for our interference, so he trapped us here beyond the mortal gates. Ask how they can be freed. We are not in your mortal realm, but somewhere beyond. We can bring you part of the way, but you alone must provide, pr must prove yourself a master of fate. Some are supple, supple and bend to fate's will, while others are left broken. The three siblings join hands and begin to chant. There is a moment of discomfort and a rushing sensation, and when your vision clears, you feel like you are floating. Far beyond, you see your body, still safely asleep beside the fire. Prove yourself, and you will open the path to our prison. Gather fate shards to free Iwa, Haro, and Hariel. This intervention will have alerted our jailer, the Black Knight. Ooh. Tarry not. The longer you take to get here, the stronger the knight will be. Well, okay then. This knight is merely a tool of the fates, but this is a tool that can still cut deeply. Awa's voice rings in your ears. No one defies fate and goes unmarked. What punishment would you endure to reweave the tapestry in your own design? Suffer one wound to gain five fate shards. Duel the Black Knight for 30 seconds to gain five shards. Suffer one curse to gain seven fate shards. Um, I really want to fight the Black Knight, to be honest, because I want to see what I'm dealing with and what kind of, like, buffering I'm really going to need for this guy. Although suffering a curse to gain seven shards is really nice, and it might give me the lead I need, because I need 50 shards. Mmm, what should I do? Let's get ahead of let's get ahead of the curve. The black knight whispers something dark and unknowable into the void, and you are crippled with fear. For drawing a curse, you gain seven fate shards. Reluctance. Slow ability. Your companion's ability cooldown charge is fifty percent slower. Oh, that's not bad. That was worth it. That was totally freaking worth it. I can't determine whether you're the sort of person to put their faith in goblins, or merely the sort to give their actions no thought. Yeah, probably. The tower is in chaos. Alarm bells have the garrison's soldiers in a panic. As you watch, a goblin with a hefty sack leaps from the window dangling from a makeshift rope. 
He bounces painfully off the wall as he lowers himself to the ground. The castle doors fly open, guards assemble armed and angered. The goblin bows his horn. The goblin blows his horn, discharging little more than a feeble hiss. I need a moment to recharge this. Help me and I'll split my takings. Before you can reply, he throws you an item from his sack. Here's your retainer, he says. I will do my darndest. All right, boys, we got our mission. I was not paying attention to my health at all. I was still trying to figure out all my my moves. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame. Combat solved so little. It has ended this, however. Fate tears hope from your grasp once more. to take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to open new cards. Even so, too many tokens can weigh you down and make your challenges harder. Why have the fates themselves turned their attention to you in such a way? Because you are destined for great things. Regicide. Hmm. All right, let's take the curse one more time. The Black Knight whispers something dark and unknowable into the void, and you are crippled with fear. Vulnerable bindings. Brute snare. Enemies deal 25% damage while you are affected by snare. Worth it. Every time. You hear shouting up ahead. As you make your way down the cobbled street, you see lights flickering on the road in front of you. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers. Please help. Please help. My family is in there. Anyone, 
Please help. Brave the fire yourself. Let Colborn attempt the rescue. I'm gonna let Colborn attempt the rescue. Without a word, Colborn draws one of his mighty swords and enters the blazing building. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Oh, they went easy on me. Suddenly, when all seems lost, the silhouette of a figure appears at the front door. It is Colborn, and miraculously, he is unscathed. You think you can make out some shapes coming from the smoke. Did Colborn manage to save them all? Two! Two figures Excellent. fall out into the decision. open air, coughing and sputtering. The villagers rush in and aid the family. While Colburn was unable to save everyone, the villagers are grateful for your valiant effort. Oh, well, that was pretty good. While strolling through the docks of the capital, you spy Rihanna, loading her slop with harpoon fishing supplies. I can get you out on the water right now. Or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquire a premium harpoon. It'll steady your aim. Behind her, the sea beckons. Um, let's go fishing. Captain Rihanna sails your boat away from the docks out into the open waters. As the shoreline disappears, Rihanna drops anchor. You need me to tell you how this works? Or are you ready to throw some harpoons around? Start fishing! You get a firm grip on the harpoon and take aim at the reef below. Not what I wanted, but good enough. Breathe. You have done well. Rihanna hauls your catch up onto the deck. Common grit sucker. <laughs> that face. I love it. She pulls up a common grit sucker. Not a glamorous catch, but food is food, Rihanna says as she clubs it over the head. The sun hangs low on the horizon. Rihanna raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. Rihanna cleans your catch. A successful haul. Buy food! Rihanna gives you a casual salute, a bucket of chum dangling from her arm. If you ever want to go out on the water again, you know where to find me. Uh, actually, I don't, but that's okay. What is truth? Do not let these spirits sell you on their fancy. Truth is never so clearly cut. That's true. Or is it? Is it? It is. I'm gonna go with it is. Mm-hmm. Fate's favor. Ariel appears to you in vision of silver light. I do not have eyes, yet I perceive fate's hand. Do you see the world as it truly is? Or is your vision clouded? Garyal's tests your perception. Your mind's eyes see truth. This is good. Uh, yeah. Like a yeah. flame, you are never satiated until you have consumed all. Oh, I love that line. Is it greed that leads mortals to degrade each other in the pursuit of coin? Gariel whispers in your ear. Thin strands of silver smoke ensnare you like the jailer's chains. Or perhaps we are all equally damaged, and we label those 
ourselves with better understanding, greedy, to appease our envy. Give in to greed, and fate will reward you. Perhaps you should have taken your time. I, I guess. I mean, I got 20 gold out of the thing. Yes. Yes, says Gariel with delight. Power comes in many forms across the realms. While inflexible, gold is quite useful in the mortal realm. You have at least 20 gold. You gain four fate shards. That was worth while I guess I don't know. these tokens represent the expansion of the game more options more cards more opportunities Coldhorn returns to his home village to partake in toil the ritual cleaning of his people's ancestral grave mounds he invites you to accompany him it requires a blessing. Oh, I have to politely decline. Colborn nods his great head in acceptance. Sorry, dude. Maybe another time. Every city has places that the civilized would be better to avoid. Of course, that's also where you'll find the most interesting people. While roaming the dark alleyways of the capital, you see a suspicious group traveling in your direction. Five of Blight. They are dragging a locked chest behind them, its contents unknown. In another direction, you spy an item glinting in the moonlight. Aretha's iron. However, you notice a number of shadowy forms lurking in the alley nearby. Which way will you go? Ooh, visible enemies with a locked chest? Or Aretha's ire and unknown enemies. No, let's go with the locked chest. You approach the men with the chest. They drop their cargo and draw their blade, saying, Solanus says no witnesses. is exactly the right weapons for these guys. The custodian is defeated. You break open the locked chest. You've gained four fame. Ah, oh, that's actually a lot of what I need right now. You notice a secret compartment in the bottom of the chest. Beautiful. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. You find some equipment hidden in the secret compartment. Yes. Even more beautiful. More challenges, more questions, more truths. A golden staircase stretches up into the mists. The Black Knight waits patiently at the summit. Iwa calls to you. Each stair you climb gives him time to bolster his defenses or thwart your progress. You must gather the shards of fate as quickly as possible. Each level you progress through will increase the difficulty of the final encounter. Climb the steps. 
climb the first steps far above you, fig step from the void and fall in line behind the black knight. Yes! I accept blight. Fate has chosen an ally for the Black Knight, Iwa says solemnly. Though I am now blind to the weave of fate, I'm sure our faith in you is well placed. Well, I'm not really, you know, 10 out of 10 right now. I'm more like 3 out of 10. Uh, and that's wins, so... <sighs> this card will join the Black Knight in the final encounter. That's fine. Gariel appears to you in a vision of silver light. Do not have eyes, yet I perceive fate's hand. Do you see the world as it truly is? Or is your vision clouded? Gariel, test your perception. Over. Well, damn. Anger. You and I must both cultivate our anger, for Callus lies at the end of our quest, and we will need to be white hot in our rage to defeat him. Hmm. Harrow appears before you in a vision of silver. People claim that they fight for freedom. For coin, or to protect the weak. The truth makes liars of them all. They fight because inside their hearts burns an unquenchable rage. If you are to free us, you must be not just a skilled warrior, but prepare for whatever fate may set in your path. Whoop. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Anna. No righteous battle is without a limitations on time. A lover in peril, or a comrade suspended from the hangman's noose. Fate will decide the sand in the hourglass. Ninety seconds isn't bad. You're not the first hero to attempt these trials. What separates you from the others? Defeat all enemies within ninety seconds. <clears throat> yeah, okay, we can do this. I believe in me. I wish you were more than the best. Dodges were doing absolutely nothing. Terrible. Terrible tragedy. Ring of food. Okay. 
Well done, Haro cheers. You have proven yourself capable of besting fate itself. You gain four fate shards. So we're at 19? No, we're at 23. All right, all right. One drunken night, you feel cold stone against your cheek, head pounding, you open your blurried eyes. The unmistakable scraping of metal wakes you fully from your slumber, and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. Yay! Another one of these death traps! Oop, oop! Food for me. I'm looking at the screen behind me instead of in what I'm walking in front of. And I'm not liking the look of what I'm seeing. I'm not going to the right, I'm gonna go to the left. That I know for sure. Yeah, there's no reason for me to up oh, go that way. Oh. Oh, this is where I came from. Ah, uh, tartar sauce. I was hoping to take no damage, really. You follow the stairs upward until you emerge in a forest, the morning sun burning your eyes. You've gained 20 gold, you've gained 4 food, and you've gained 2 fame. You fumble in your haversack for something to eat. Happily, you find a half-eaten pasty and try to find your way out of the woods. All right, speaking of eating, we're gonna stop and camp. Spirits forcing themselves into life usually seek revenge or trouble. Colborn burns some roasted fish on the fire and prays. I too pray, my friend. Trade, buy equipment. Uh, I don't know that it's worth it right now. Finish trading. Break camp. What truth lies in dreams, eh? Fate's whim. Once more, your sleep is interrupted by silver smoke and a vision of Iwa, mistress of fate. You sigh and pack up your bedroll as she begins to speak. I am Iwa, mistress of fate. I observe fate's whims and help my brother and sister guide people toward their destiny. Fate is not solely chaos and chance. My brother Haro weaves the tapestry of life with your memories and dreams. The dealer selects four encounter cards from the deck. Oh yeah. 
Iwa extends her hand to you in an elegant motion. Tiny, ethereal figures dance and cavort in her palms. Gradually, you realize you're watching events from your own past. This is the weave of your life's tapestry that we shall re-examine. Welcome back, my friend. The innkeeper greets you warmly. You travel with company, I see. I shall gather extra provisions. Now that we are such good friends, my price for you are always as low as possible. Buy a heal, buy a meal, or rest. What do you require? Uh... Ask about healing. Yeah. Oh, that is such good fortune. Discard this card to gain two food. No, I want it. Oh, beautiful. Buy food. I see nothing of other value, really, besides just buying food from this person. That's enough for now. Leave. You leave the inn. Yeah, I got full life and as much food as I can physically stuff into my, my pockets, my haversack. Appears before you in a vision of silver. People claim that fight for freedom, for coin, or to protect the weak. The truth makes liars of them all. They fight because inside their hearts burns an unquenchable rage. If you are to free us, you must be not just a skilled warrior. But prepare for whatever fate may set in your path. I am not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. I believe you are a very prideful man. No righteous battle is without its limitations on time. A lover in peril or a comrade suspended from a hangman's noose. Fate will decide the sands in the hourglass. Thirty seconds. Oh, sweet, sweet you child. You want to work on this. Um, Clearly, you lack what it takes. You are right. Goblin archer. They hone their skills hunting fire lizards deep underground. They'll make short work of you. Goblin archers use heavy attacks from range. Defend with a shield, else evade for your life. insane. Good fortune gain, 10 gold. Harrow cannot hide his disappointment. You must master all the deadly arts, combat, and fate. Without both, you are a woman with only one leg. 
destined to walk in circles. How dare you? Fate's favor. Gariel appears to you in a vision of silver light. I do not have eyes, yet I perceive fate's hand. Do you see the world as it truly is? Or is your vision clouded? Nope, uh, it's clouded. Let's carry on. Oh, I, I clicked the button way too fast for that. Shoot. Okay, whatever. I'm fine with it. Wheel of Greed. The wispy chains snap and disappear. You have not a penny to your name. You have not a penny to your name, Gariel says forlornly. A pauper cannot be our savior. Make haste and enrich yourself. Well, damn. He claws at the belly and thrusts one into truth. You hear Ewa's voice in your head, and a great swirling mist surrounds and confines you. Fate's hunger must be sated. Should the meal nourish the needy or fatten the opulent, it is not for us to know. Fate will decide. Poor food works for me. No, poor food is fine. It's fine. If it was more expensive, I'd be a little more upset. Sell equipment. I'm selling you crossbow. Buy equipment? Oh yeah, I have all these cool things that I haven't been able to buy. Buy food. Even if it's just one, it's better than nothing. Leave. Fate's whim. Once more you sleep. Once more your sleep is interrupted by silver smoke and a vision of Iwa, mistress of fate. You sigh and pack up your bedroll as she begins to speak. I am Iwa. I've only introduced myself a million times so far in this game. Mistress of Fate, I observe Fate's whims and help my brother and sister guide people towards their destiny. Fate is not solely chaos and chance. My brother Haro weaves the tapestry of life with your memories and dreams. Yeah! Iwa extends her hands to you in an elegant motion. Tiny ethereal, tiny ethereal figures dance and cavort in her palms. Gradually, you realize you are watching events from your own past. This is the weave of your life's tapestry that we shall re-examine. The trading house in the capital is well known for its fair barter exchange. People from around the world gather here to trade their wares. Welcome, adventurer. Do you have something to trade? Asks a strapping young merchant. Trade food for equipment. I am going to be really brazen. Good choice. A downtrodden adventurer had a hard time parting with this one. Nine food was traded away. Now trade equipment for food. Uh, let's trade two pieces. No. Let's trade one piece. No, 
No, we're gonna trade the Cardinal's Blade. A magician claimed to be from the ruined dwarven fortress of Oort has been selling apples from his bottomless bag all morning. There's three food. All right. Not the greatest trade, but I did get the 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 the, 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 the spit it out. Um, I did get the coin, which is nice. So, anyways, what we're left with is a neglected sword, a wooden shield, pious robes, which resist corrupted and don't starve. That's the big one that I really wanted. And the ring of food, which is also a very big one for me. We're gonna stay here. The wheel of rage. Wait, what was that? Oh. Oak Shield of Thorn. Alright. Ninety seconds. Alright. Ninety seconds is good. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. in their shields tell tales of battles long forgotten. Oak shields block all attacks, greatly reducing incoming damage. Use bash to open them up for damage vulnerable to fire. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Harrow cheers. You have proven yourself capable of besting fate itself. Why, thank you. Once more you sleep, an Iwa disturbs you. Goblin retainer. Iwa extends her hands, showing you Taking visions of Taking orders past. from a goblin. You're lucky I came along, given you're the type to do whatever anyone asks of you. Mm. He bounces painfully off of the wall, lowering himself to the ground. Yes, yes, I know the drill. Give you plenty of time, and you will give me gold. Thank you for the gold. Let's see if we can't do this. Is there anyone who won't work? 
so noticeable, the weapons. With the goblin gone, you make your own escape. Let's camp. Cook food. Trade. Buy equipment. I don't want that. Buy food. I definitely don't want that. Finish. Break camp. Let us go! Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. Actually, they're not the worst. Another enemy to oppose us, Siwa says. <sighs> not the best, but not the worst. The swirling reel of hunger. You hear Iwa's voice in your head, and a great swirling mist surrounds and confines you. Fate's hunger must be sated. Should the meal nourish the needy or fatten the opulent, it is not for us to know. Fate will decide. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Okay. Give up the food. There you go. Stay here. <laughs> One drunken night. Let us go. This is probably my favorite. Actually, where do I want to go? Let's look for a minute. Okay, so if I go that way... I'm gonna go to the left get that, then go across to the right. Yeah. Ow. Ow! Okay. I regret everything. Why does this game even allow me to play? Walking into fire. Ah! Ah! No! No! Panicking! Panicking! Oh! All right. Well, uh, I did good until the the end. Maybe I don't know. Don't ask questions. I have no answers. You follow the stairs upward until you emerge in a forest, the morning sun burning your eyes. You've gained 15 gold, you gain four food, and you gain two fame. You fumble in your haversack for something to eat. Happily, you find a half-eaten pasty and try to find your way out of the woods. General store. Look at that, exactly what I wanted. What do I want, though? Mm. 
All right, I need to sell something. I'm gonna sell you. And then I'm gonna buy you. A lack of caution opens you to all sorts of influences. I know. I'm good like that. I wish I had more money. But I don't. When all the magic has left the world, goblins will still persist. There's hope. Following the goblins' instructions, you walk through snow, then marsh, then under an old oak tree. You crawl through dirt tunnels lit by shafts of sunlight until you eventually emerge on a paved road, deep underground. Up ahead, you see a bright green glow. You are no longer alone. Goblins scurry from adjoining tunnels and greet you on the path. You are swept along the crowd until the tunnel broadens into a vast cavern, encapsulating a small city. Goblin Town. Green lanterns cast the streets in a murky light. Crowds of goblins go about their business while hooded figures lead rodent-like beasts of burden to market. In the distance, a mountain of gold glitters enticingly. Lines of goblins are arrayed around like spokes of a wheel. Visit the golden mountain. Explore goblin town. I want to see... I mean, I want to explore Goblin Town, but I need gold pretty bad. Let's explore Goblin Town. I really haven't the foggiest, to be honest with you. Oh! An ancient goblin, wrinkled as a prune is selling an array of teas down by the bank of the pungent river that runs through the town. He places a bag in your hand and shakes his little head when you offer payment. I am happy knowing that the tea will either strengthen you greatly or kill you. Ah, so very kind of you. Suddenly, Urgent horns blare an alarm through the city, reverberating off the cavern walls. Goblins and hooded folk alike drop what they are doing to rush towards exit tunnels or jump into portals popping up here and there. The ground rumbles underfoot and a choking black gas begins seeping into the cavern. You pack your things and hurry toward the nearest exit. The black gas encroaches ever closer. And we run away. Now you merely wait until that goblin can get his portal open. Well, that, and try and stop them killing you along the way. Don't be so amused by my death. Every time. He seems to be very, very happy at the whole idea of me dying. And I'm really not pleased by it. Did I not set my...
No? I wanted to go with him. <laughs> no. That is unfortunate. <sighs> Now death comes to you. This story ends here. For making good use of the trading house. Scouting party. Ah, oh, such a shame. guys that is gonna be it for this episode i did two rounds of the wheel just because i uh didn't realize how quickly um i was running through life in the first go around but um yeah that is the wheel so in the next episode we're going to backtrack a little bit and um try and open up let's see I think we'll do the chariot again. It's been a while, so let's do the chariot next episode. Um, if you guys have a preference or you have an episode you'd like me to try again, please leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to go through it. Um, but that's going to be my plan, is we'll do the chariot next go around and see if we can't do a little better. We were able to open up in the previous episode a couple of new cards, so that should help out dramatically. Um, Outside of that, if any of you want me to go back over the Emperor, the Hierophant, or the High Priestess to try and get gold rank, I'm more than happy to. Um, I'm just trying to keep the flow of the gameplay moving forward. We still have four more challenges we haven't unlocked yet, and when we do, uh, we'll be able to go through them. So, that is it for this episode. I do hope that you all enjoy. I hope that you will join me in the next episode, but until then, please take care. <laughs>